Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a fun craft together. We are gonna be making those really cute and trendy holographic stickers using your vinyl cutting machine. So I, about a year ago, maybe two years ago, I made a video on how to make stickers using your vinyl cutting machine. And that's how I've been making my stickers for so long. And I've been seeing going around how to make those holographic stickers. So I thought that would be really fun to try and make. And I'm obsessed with them, they're so cute. If you've never seen them before, they're just really pretty. It's you put, you put like an adhesive laminate that has like a holographic tint to it over the sticker paper and then cut it out. And it makes not only the stickers look gorgeous and have like a really cute, unique look to them, but it also makes them extra water resistant and stuff. So I think it would be really great to give to customers as little freebies or maybe even decorate your packages with or just have for fun. You can make them for your kids. You can make them for yourself. You can put them on notebooks and laptops and all kinds of things. So that is what we're going to be making today. And I'm really excited to share with you guys that tutorial. I just got done making them, so this is kind of like future Sally here, and they turned out really cute. So I can't wait to share them with you guys, but let's go ahead and get on into the video. All right, you guys, so here is what y'all will need for today's project. You will obviously need some kind of computer or laptop so you can make your stickers. Um, next is some kind of sticker paper. So I really like these by Neato Labels. They are the matte finish water resistant vinyl labels. Um, these are really great. I love them. I make all of my stickers using this brand. Next is some kind of scissors, a vinyl cutting mat, and this is the adhesive laminate. So this is what makes your stickers shiny. This is what makes them more water resistant. It makes them have that really pretty holographic look to them. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to apply this over your sticker paper and cut it out on your mat and then next you'll need some kind of vinyl cutting machine I will be using my silhouette cameo but you can use whatever vinyl cutting machine you have whether it be silhouette Cricut Starcraft solo brother scan and cut whatever you got it'll work Oh, and I almost forgot to add, you don't need this, but it makes it more helpful, is a ruler. So this is so that you can smooth this laminate out on this paper and not try not to get bubbles. <laughs> so that is something else helpful to get. I just got this at the Dollar Tree. It came in a two pack and it's just a wooden ruler. All right, you guys, here we are in Silhouette Studio, but you can use any software that you want that can do print and cut. So Silhouette, Cricut, StarCraft Solo, whatever you may like. Um, but today I'm gonna be using Silhouette because I already have my Silhouette out. I was doing some projects with it and I figured this would be a great day to make this video. So what you're gonna wanna do to make these stickers is of course, find your designs that you would like. Now, um, I will say that you can do whatever you want. You can get PNG files or you can get ready-made sticker files. I'm going to show you how to use both ways. But the first thing that you're going to want to do is have your design in mind, know what you're going to do, open up your software, and we're going to go ahead and get our page set up. So over here in Silhouette, you're going to go over to the right hand menu and go to the page setup panel. So here you just want to make sure that your machine is set to whatever machine you're using. Mine is the Auto Cameo 3. Next is the cutting mat. So what size cutting mat are you going to put your sticker paper on? Mine is just a regular 12 by 12 cutting mat. And your media size is the paper, the sticker paper that you're putting on your mat. So mine is an eight and a half by 11 sheet. Make sure that these dimensions are correct. Make sure it's, it's set as the orientation to portrait um, instead of landscape. And then you're going to go over here to the registration marks and make sure that those are turned on. This just makes it to where it shows you all the area you can fit your designs in. And then I usually like to make sure that the print bleed is turned on always. Okay, once that's done, your paper is set up and then you're going to go import your files. So like I said, there's a couple options you can do. You can do just regular PNGs and turn them into stickers or you can do a ready-made sticker file. I'm going to show you both. So you go to file and you go to merge and select your designs. Okay, so I have these two designs imported. This keep it weird file is already a sticker file. As you see, it has this border that your machine knows where to cut. So that's how what makes it a sticker file. And this is just a normal PNG file that is not really made to be a sticker, but you can make it into a sticker. So as you see, it's kind of just a square here. It doesn't know where to cut. If you were to put this into your machine, it would not really know what to do. So we're gonna make it know what to do. So what you're gonna do is create an offset. Here on Silhouette, you just go over to the right hand side and you click the offset panel. Then you're gonna hit offset and see it makes this little border around just kind of like this has here. 
and you're going to just play around with it. Get it. You can make it go higher, you can go lower, but I usually like to keep it around 0.120. Um, that seems to be a good fit for a lot of different sizes. So that one is ready to go. And now I like to go into the color or the fill panel and fill it in white. It just kind of makes it, you know, look pretty and shows me kind of what I'm working with here. And now this one's ready to go. Now your machine knows that this is a sticker file and it knows not to cut the butterfly out exactly, but cut a little border around the butterfly and it just looks prettier for the stickers. So now I'm gonna go ahead and group this together, Control G, and now I have my sticker ready to go. Next, you're going to just size it down or up whatever size you want your stickers to be. I've been making all of mine about two and a half, so that one is ready to go. And next, you're gonna wanna make sure that you fit everything on this paper. So you guys see that I already have these ready to go here. I kinda played around with these. By the way, I got this bundle here um, at Design Bundles. I'll link the exact one that I got down below. And then I got this one on Etsy. And then I got all of these butterflies here on Design Bundles as well. I think it's gonna look really pretty with the holographic paper. Okay, so like I said, I have these kind of ready to go. You can kind of play around with it here to just make sure that it fits within your um, paper here, but I already got those pretty much figured out. So next, once you got that ready to go, you are going to go over here to send and get your settings figured out. So in this example, I'm gonna show you how to just do like a kiss cut. Um, a kiss cut means that it is going to cut through the laminate and through the sticker paper, but not through your paper all the way. So it's not going to cut each individual sticker out. It's going to leave you with a full sheet of stickers, if that makes sense. So in order to do this, you're going to have to play around with your settings a little bit. What I did was I got a full example sheet and I just cut things and played with things until I got the settings that worked for my machine. So I definitely recommend you trying that as well, but I'm going to share my settings here. So what I found that works great for a kiss cut is the cardstock setting here on my silhouette. I love using my manual blade. It's just the regular ratchet blade just because I feel like it's easier to kind of get your settings figured out rather than the auto blade. So um, that is what I'm using in this example. So the only thing I tweaked was I took my force up to 22. I think it was 20 originally and I feel like it needed just a couple more notches up. So my force is 22, speed is four, blade depth is three and you just have one pass and um, that's it. So that is the settings that we're gonna be using for this. So now that you got your settings ready, everything's good to go, you're gonna wanna print your page out. So I'm gonna go over here to File and Print. Then you're gonna hit Print again and select your printer. I'm going to be using, where is my printer? Here it is. And then you're gonna go to Preferences and find your settings. So I have a sticker settings here that I love that work really well for me. And this is the settings I use. I make sure it's set to eight and a half by 11. Paper type is premium presentation paper mat. Quality is high. So those are the settings that I like to use and they, they come out great every time. So once you have your settings good to go, you're gonna click okay. And then you're gonna click apply. And then you're going to hit print and it's going to print out of your printer. So you might be wondering which side is the front, which side is the back. So if you open up this sticker paper, you can see that the front is more white. So the back has a little bit of a yellowish tint to it, but the front is white. So that's kind of how you'll be able to tell. And it definitely does matter because if you put this in your printer backwards, your stickers will be backwards, so it won't work. So make sure that you check that out before you load it up into your printer. I've definitely made that mistake more than once. Okay, once you have your sheet printed out and you have your laminate, I like to cut it down a little bit more to size of the paper just because it's a little bit easier to work with. So I think I'm gonna cut it down to about nine. And then you can save this for other projects. Um, okay, and then the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is flip this back and you're gonna wanna peel a little bit of the backer down and I'll show you why here in a second. I usually like to take about an inch. And then just fold that backer 
down just a little bit. Just like that. I don't know if you can see it, but it's peeled back just a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna take the laminate and I'm gonna just stick it at the very top of my sticker paper and then smooth that out with your fingers. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of this backer and I'm just gonna peel it a little bit just to kind of get me started. And what you're gonna to wanna to do now is take this ruler and you're gonna kind of almost, almost like when you're um, it, taking a vinyl squeegee and you're just gonna take it and, um, and just kind of smooth that down with your ruler. And it's okay if you see like little bubbles because that will come up. But once you've got that started, you're just gonna to wanna to then take your ruler and just smooth it out. Okay, now it's smooth and you're just gonna to wanna to work some of these like small bubbles that you might've gotten in there out. It's really forgiving. Like some of them might be a little bit messed up. Like my first one, I kinda of messed it up a little bit. Um, but it's okay if you have a little bit of um, bubbles. I'm just gonna smooth it out. See, it's good and smooth. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just trim off this bottom piece right here just cause it's kinda getting all over the place and we're gonna go stick it on our mat. So I really missed you guys like just sitting and making videos and talking with you guys. Things have just been so busy. There's been so much going on behind the scenes, but I will say that I have sat down and made a bunch of different video ideas for you guys. So from now through the end of the year, just expect a ton of videos coming and um, hopefully I can get on a good routine for you guys and make those videos. So expect a lot of crafts and tutorials and projects and work with me's and just a bunch of fun stuff coming up behind the scenes. So y'all stay tuned for that. All right, you guys. So that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know, do you like the holographic look? Do you think that you'll be giving it a try? If you already tried it, let me know down in the comments and I guess I will see you guys in the next one, which will be very soon. Bye everyone.